Hi, my name's Alex Walford, and in this video I want to show you how you can do change data capture on SQL Server using the change tracking client. The first thing we're going to do is create a database, um, and I'm using the uh, SQL Server Management Studio here. I mean, you can do all this from command line, it's just a little bit easier uh, to do it through the GUI. Um, so the database name is going to be Walford's. Um, and you have to enable change tracking on the database. So I'm going to right click on this guy here, go to properties, and so you'll see change tracking right here. Um, we just have to change that false to a true. Um, and the next thing we are going to do is create a table in this database. Um, so I have a little script um, kicking around here. So I'm going to right click on him, have a new query, um, paste in my create table statement. One thing that's important is the table must have a primary key for the uh, change tracking to work. So I'm going to execute this, uh, that executed successfully. Let's drill down into our database, find this table and we need to enable change tracking on the table. So this table is called family, I'm going to uh, right click on that. Uh, go down to properties and find change tracking. Now there's two different um, sort of levels of tracking. One of them is at the table level and one of them is um, for um, the uh, columns, specific columns. So I'm going to enable both of these and um, we are done on the SQL Server side now. So let's pop over to Data Collector. Okay, so I've got my blank canvas here. The first thing I'm going to do is grab the SQL um, Server uh, change tracking origin. I'm going to give it a JDBC URL, and this uh, contains the database name. Give it some uh, credentials and uh, tell it which uh, tables to capture. And this is just going to grab everything that has uh, change tracking enabled, and I'm just going to um, create a very simple pipeline here. I'm going to send this to Trash. Uh, my intention here is really just to show the change tracking piece and not, you know, how to build pipelines. Um, so um, let's start this pipeline and it's running. Now I'm going to capture a snapshot of this pipeline and then insert a record. So I'm just going to copy my uh, insert statement so it's in the clipboard. I'm going to capture a snapshot and pop over to SQL Server and insert this record. Okay, highlight that, execute, and let's go back to Data Collector. And you can see that the snapshot has picked up this record. Let's take a quick look at it. Um, I can see the header, so here's the, uh, the, the data, the payload from the, the data, and we can see that it has all of the um, JDBC metadata, which can be used um, for, uh, say, data drift. Like if you were going to write this to, say, Hive or Postgres, and you wanted to have something that would uh, dynamically um, change the schema on the fly and that sort of thing, uh, then this, this is what this metadata is used for. So that's it. That's my quick introduction um, to SQL Server change data capture using the uh, change tracking client. Um, I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.